Hi, we're Happy Family Adventures. We're in the Canadian Rocky Mountains and enjoying everything it has to offer. Come along with us as we explore the outdoors and live a life of adventures. We've recently shown you our four-wheel drive camper that we imported from Japan. If you haven't seen that video yet, click on the link and check it out. Our new adventure vehicle is definitely an upgrade from what we were traveling in before. Did you know we spent a full year living in a tent while we traveled around Australia in 2018? Are you curious how we did it? Today, we're going to show you guys a look into our setup and how we organized ourselves on the road. We will explain in detail our kitchen setup, our sleep space, how we shower, and where we store things in our car. Our setup was all DIY. We made everything ourselves on a tight budget and out of recycled materials. Let's start with the back of our car. On the hitch receiver, we mounted a spare wheel carrier and two jerry can holders. One jerry can held 20 liters of extra petrol and the other held 20 liters of extra water. Having these two things were essential while traveling in the Australian Outback. Sometimes there was 600 kilometers between gas stations or places to refill water on the road. Having it on the back of the car saved essential space on the inside, allowing us to store other things. We also built a small folding table that came out from the wheel carrier. We used this as a kitchen counter to prep food or wash up dishes. Let's look into our kitchen setup. At the front of the drawer here, we have our cutting board and knife, so it's really easily accessible as it's the first thing we use when we are going to cook something. This drawer slides out to give us access to all the things we need inside. On the side of the drawer, we've installed pockets to house everything we need for eating and cooking. On the end here, we have a little dustpan and broom, we have our plates, we have our cutlery, scissors, lighters, and other odds and ends. On the other side of the drawer, we have all our cooking equipment, starting with our pot, our pan, our cooking utensils, and some foil. This is the view from the top of what we have inside. Over here is our stove, right at the front because we use that the most. In this compartment, we have other things we have for eating and cooking, like our cups and bowls. And the back two compartments here are our pantry and all the other food that we need. We use the Coleman dual fuel two burner stove, which allows you to use either petrol or gas to run it. Having the option to use petrol is much cheaper and lasts longer than buying gas bottles. It also saved us room by not having to carry around the bottles. We found that after filling up the stove with around one liter of petrol, it would last us around a week of cooking for all of our meals, meaning one week of cooking would cost roughly $1.50 depending on the price of petrol. This is our pantry when we take everything out. So we've stocked up on some coffee, some quinoa, some couscous, oats, pasta, brown rice, some sugar, sultanas, and my favorite popcorn. So at the front here, we have other things we need for cooking. All our spices, our olive oil, salt, and pepper. On this side, we have all the cleaning supplies that we would need. Some toilet paper for when we're camping in the wild, some dish soap, a sponge, and some laundry detergent. Just behind, the fridge slides out just like that, and you can open it from the top. It's a Waco CFX 65 liter with an insulated cover. 65 liters is enough space for us as a family of three to hold what we need for about one week of groceries. It has two compartments. On this side, it's our fridge, and in there we have our freezer. We installed the fridge on a sliding drawer so it can slide out and locks into place so it won't shuffle around when driving. It runs on 12 volts and draws about 3 amps per hour. 
Next to our fridge, we have our DC distribution panel, and it is connected to our secondary 100 amp battery, which allows us to run our 12 volt fridge as well as charging our additional electronics. We also have an 150 watt inverter, which is quite small for most people, but what it allows us to do is charge our camera and our computer, which is all we need it for. Up in this corner here, you can see where we keep our chairs. We chose these ones in particular as they are so compact and fit so nicely in the car. You can really see how compact they are here. To put them together takes a bit longer than the average camping chair, but it really is quite simple. You basically just click all the pieces into place and then put the fabric part over the frame. Our table is also compact and slid flat into the back seat of the car. We like this table in particular for our setup as you can adjust the legs at different heights. This was great for our low chairs for eating our meals or having a taller height for cooking on. We also made use of camping spaces that had picnic benches set up and enjoyed many picnics on blankets. Sometimes, we loved eating in bed up in our tent on cooler days or when the weather wasn't ideal. Let's move upstairs. We have a four person rooftop tent with two ladders. The rooftop tent comes with a foam mattress inside. For us, having that real mattress versus a blow up one really made a huge difference in our comfort and quality of sleep. We also opted to bring comfy blankets and pillows for just that little bit of extra comfort. We stored our bedding inside the tent so our sleep setup was all ready when we opened our tent at every campsite. In the particular tent we have, we can unzip all the windows. It was great waking up in the middle of nature, unzipping those windows and enjoying the views from the comfort of our bed. If you want any more details on a four person rooftop tent, click on the link in the video. Wondering how we showered? Well, our shower setup was quite simple. It consisted of a basic 12 volt water pump with a shower head and two water jerry cans of 20 liters each. This setup was great for the Australian weather. We had warm weather all year long and were able to use an outdoor shower daily. Also, having the jerry can of water on the back of the car allowed for the water to stay warm while heated by the sun. It was great having this shower after a long day out exploring or after the beach. We also used showers and amenities at campgrounds and caravan parks when we wanted more of a proper shower. Okay, that's all we have to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone!